Okay, so let's take a look at this. So um, this problem would be a test type question. I mean, this problem's not that um, there's no hidden agenda here. But again, it's physics, and so it can be it can be kind of difficult when you're first looking at it. So let's take a look at what's going on here. All right, so we've got a submarine of 1,480 kilograms. Even if you're in water, the Earth is still pulling on you with a gravi gravitational force. So don't forget that, even if you're in water. All right, we will learn about the buoyant force a little bit later, but if you're floating, like, you know, one of the famous things is you go to the Great Salt Lake in, in outside of Salt Lake City, you can float. You can read a newspaper while you're sitting in the, in the lake, or, or I've been to the Dead Sea. You can do the same thing. Um, anyway, uh, but it's got a buoyant force pushing up on you that is equal to your gravitational force that's pulling you down, so therefore you're in equilibrium and you float on the surface. This, so the submarine still, I think that might have been the problem that students were having with this, is that the submarine still has a g-force pulling it down, all right? So, so seawater exerts an upward buoyant force on the sum as well as a downward resistive force. So there's a resi downward resistive force of 1140 newtons too. I assigned this problem so that you would get used to working, you know, putting the forces on something. So what's the, ex what's the submarine's acceleration? Well, let's write down what we know. All right, let's write down what we know. So I know the mass of the submarine was 1,480 kilograms, all right, and what else do we know? I got to make sure I jump back to an upward buoyant force of 16,800 newtons. This might be fun to use later on. Um, so there's an upward buoyant force, which is 16,800 newtons. Was that right? And then, I mean... It seems right to me. Yes. And then there's a there's a drag force. Drag force of 1140 newtons. All right. So there's the drag force of 1140 newtons. So we got this mass. All right. So now let's, here's our submarine. Okay. Here's our submarine. Let's draw all the forces that are acting on it. First of all, mass of the submarine times G, that's a force. It's being pushed up by a buoyant force. But it's also got this drag force, which is much smaller than the buoyant force. And it is accelerating upward. So there's all the forces working. There's our diagram. That could be our free body diagram. Because those are the three, one, two, three forces that are working on it. And we have to figure out what its acceleration is upward. Okay. So obviously it's blown its ballast and it's going up. These two forces should be less than this one. The magnitudes of these two forces should be less than this one. So we've got an acceleration going up. So here we, here's what we do. Some of the forces in the y direction is equal to the mass of the submarine times the acceleration is equal to the buoyant force minus mass of the submarine times g minus the drag force. Solve for a. We know this, 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 and this. I think we can solve for a. But again, the algebra is easy. Setting up the problem, reading the problem carefully and going, okay, what are the forces? Analyzing what the forces are, knowing that it's accelerating upward, writing Newton's second law, and then calculating can be tricky. All right, there we go.